The Colleen Mall was forced to close for the day after they were tipped off that they might be in danger of looters. Fox 44's Cameron Stewart went to Colleen and talked to some confused customers about the recent protests. Hey, Cameron. Hey, Adam. The mall got the call from Colleen PD this morning that looters might be heading their way. Instead, activists decided to organize an impromptu peaceful protest tonight. That our main goal is policing and, and, and making sure that our community as well as our police can interact within each other um, safely and, and um, you know, everybody get home at the end of, end of the night. Jonathan Hildner helped organize the peaceful protests in Killeen over the weekend. As soon as he saw the mall was closed due to threat of looting and just minutes before our conversation, he got on the phone and organized another demonstration for tonight. Two days ago, uh, I think we had an amazing showing of, of thousands of uh, citizens here in this community come together and peacefully uh, march and, and have their voices heard. Um, uh, I like to highlight that there were no arrests, no injuries, um, you know, and, and everybody got home safely that night. Unlike in Killeen, protests around the country surrounding George Floyd's death have turned violent. The mall said in a statement they heard from Killeen PD this morning about potentially violent protesters coming to loot the mall, prompting them to close it for the day. Some people who are going to shop at the mall today don't think the fact that it's closed even matters to the potential looters. If they're wanting to loot and riot, they're going to come here no matter what, whether it's closed, open or not. That's simple facts. Even the ones who have been protesting peacefully think closing the mall was the right decision. I'm, I'm glad that they uh, that we took the safe approach, you know, and and you know whether the um, whether the threats are real or not, um, you know, we've got to protect our community uh, with the situations that have happened in the past or not. For the organizations behind the protests, violence is not the answer. You know, we're in a very uh, divisive time, you know, where. Uh, some people's solution uh, to uh, stop anything is with violence and, and we're trying to promote that we can use our words and we can really, um, you know, with using our community leaders, get things done, get policy uh, enacted that will change and make a difference. For more information about the organization's goals in Colleen, stay tuned at 930. In the studio, I'm Cameron Stewart, Fox 44 News.